Hello everyone, welcome back to the Beer Research Lab. My name is Alessio Rosildi and I'm very happy to have you here again with us. I'm very happy to keep on sharing with you all these different and very interesting concepts. And today we have a very actual topic that we're going to talk about. This is a concept that has been taking a lot of buzz lately because there's a rev gaming revolution that's happening with it. I'm talking about VR esports. You might know esports. Esports, it's the revolution of sports, but with electronic gaming. So in a way, you are now gaming using all this technology and computing power to improve the experience. So right now what's happening is that VR is positioning also with esports. So now we're creating a lot of more interesting games and competitive uh, electronic tournaments that take place in all around the world. So today we're going to talk about all the different games that are taking advantage of this technology and the live tournament that are taking place. So you can know better what you can now improve. So have a, a chance to compete in these concepts. So continue with us so we can talk more about VR esports. The dynamic and logistics for this relatively new disciplines are very similar as in regular sports. We have a bunch of players competing on different skills, levels of difficulty, and different regional tournaments, always expecting to play well to win a big prize and be recognized for their moves and results. This concept of electronic sports started to achieve more global popularity in the 2000s with tournaments of legendary online games like StarCraft and WarCraft 3 with growing levels of production being shown on television in some part of the world while being streamed online for thousands or even millions to watch. With VR esports, the possibility of interactions and immersions are endless. As long as a VR game is engaging, has a defined set of fine rules for all participants and can register a score, then it can be used for competitive manners. These tournaments aren't produced differently than other sport tournaments, so they are also professional narrating how the teams are playing, they're also public cheering on the crowd so they can count with their family, friends and supporters coming to raise their spirits. Also, the possibility to have fans as a traditional sports make this competition really attractive for skillful players that train hard to stand out. So far, Steven Spielberg movie Ready Player One has been the most popular representation of the evolution of this competition showcased on the big screen some years ago. The production team has researched a lot to depike the future of VR competitions more than 20 years from now and they have shown how such type of gaming schemes change society in different ways. To promote the film, a partnership with HTC Vive was their best option. So they created a game where they could experience as if you were living in the movie and playing in the U.S. The fictional virtual world where millions of people compete each day to earn even real money to survive in the real world. For more relative examples, Beat Saber is a rhythmic game where the player's precision and timing are critical factors for success and a higher score. Even though it is far from being a traditional sports game, it is one of the most used for those new tournaments. Echo Arena, for example, is one of the first official esports game in VR and is one of the favorites within the competition community. It includes different kinds of arenas created for multiplayer purposes and hosting competitions, some of them being organized through established VR conventions or festivals. These arenas are places where users that cannot afford their own VR setup are able to rent the headset and processors to be transported through virtual reality and play along many other players locally or around the world. Even though this technology is available worldwide, this kind of tournaments are nowadays more popular in United States and Europe. And speaking of successful events, Dreamland XR Festival has been one of the most popular events. This big event took place in Las Vegas for around three days and was an excellent opportunity to gather a big part of the VR community in one city. Space, a Swedish company, just announced that next year it will be opening their first VR center where the largest permanent eSports arena is going to be established creating a new sports for gamers to reunite. Increasing the popularity of this revolutionary concept with such ambition bets on this kind of infrastructure. Other type of competitive arenas are being created by Smart VR. 
a French company that created the concept of EVA or eSports Virtual Arenas. They also developed VR games such as After Age, which was one of the first VR eSports. This huge VR arenas are popping all over the world, making possible for you to start a business with one and install it wherever you want that has enough space to host such a big competitions and games. Omniverse, for instance, provides mini arenas that are usually installed in commercial venues and that they have the option to create their own leaderboards at the venue where they're located or to organize weekly and monthly competitions that will showcase the results on a global leaderboard in order to win a prize provided by Omniverse Esports that depending on the category can go up from 100 to almost 2000 US dollars. In this event, you can realize that the players are getting involved in creating new communities that are known as leagues. Some of the most known are VR Master League, Collected VR Esports League, Virtual Athletics League and League of International VR Esports. If you belong in any of them, it will be easier for you to find out about the competition as well to apply to participate in them. And of course, it is also the opportunity to increase your circle of friends within this community. People around the world are already excited and supporting the development of this immersive experiences, mainly because it's allowing them to bring down the physical and geographical barriers to let people from every age and every physical condition compete against each other. At Fuse, we are developing our own games that can competitive enough to become eSports as well. This includes emulating some sports interactions and creating new kinds of interactive challenges in this virtual world. One of our main goals as a company in VR industry is to always keep growing the penetration of virtual reality in today's market, striving to find innovative ways to actually reach more people with our games, deliver experiences for players and create outstanding competitions that mesmerize people's minds and accelerate their heart. What do you think about the evolution and offering of VR esports? What was the most interesting game or tournament that struck your mind? Would you like to participate in such a competition soon? Your comments are very valuable to us, so please write down in the comments if you want us to talk about another different topic and everything you want us to investigate and analyze regarding the VR industry. Please subscribe so you can know more facts and more content that will be developing regarding the VR industry. And please continue with us. So thanks a lot for watching the video and see you again soon.